Hello, well, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna keep on with the Animal Crossing and this is gonna be part two to the first Frozen video. Initially, I was going to be doing three parts to this video by doing maybe like two, or two, th two to three dresses at a time, but you guys surprisingly said that you guys want longer videos. So instead of that, I went ahead and just made this video extra long with all the dresses included, plus a bonus because uh, one of you guys also asked if I could make Krista, so I added Krista to this video as well since it goes perfectly with the Frozen theme. But starting things off, I'm going to be starting with Anna and this is her coronation dress and for this one, honestly, this is one of my favorite dresses. I wish I would have gotten a chance to wear it, but I didn't and maybe hope for Halloween, who knows, I don't know. Um, I really do enjoy Anna more than Elsa. I mean, Elsa's a queen and she slays, but... I don't know, Anna is just so perky and so happy all the time and I don't know, she's just fun. She's a fun person, a fun character. She reminds me a lot of Rapunzel, which people say that there's a theory saying that they're cousins and I know that there's an easter egg where Rapunzel and Flynn are over at, um, for Anna's coronation, oh, for Elsa's coronation. You can see both of them walking in the castle. So I choose to believe that as well as um, maybe Tarzan being their brother as well. Who knows? It's a theory. But I think uh, Rapunzel has been confirmed actually. And it is said also that the when the parents die, Anna and Elsa's parents die, they were on the way to Rapunzel's wedding. So I don't know. That one I don't know. I'm not sure if it has been confirmed. But I think Rapunzel being their cousin is totally confirmed by Disney. But anyway, for the coronation dress, it was giving me like strong Ursula vibes during this stage. Obviously, it, if it was purple instead of green, it would have been like per like a perfect Ursula dress because of the shell. And I don't know. I know it's Ariel that wears the shell, but Ursula steals it at one point. So... Anyway, I'm a Disney lover if you guys haven't noticed, but um, yeah, uh, for the pattern, I just went with this little simple design with like a little leaf and a dot for a flower, and I was just testing out the waters, but I really liked it. Obviously, there's not enough space to actually go through and make all the designs that the dress actually has, so I feel like this makes it look similar. Obviously, again, it's not detailed, but I feel like it looks very similar, and I liked it, so I went ahead and left it on. And of course, for the designs on the corset as well, they are way too big and they are in no shape or form exactly the same. They're only similar to what's actually on there. Again, there's not enough space for it, but this is what I came up with. And I think it looks okay, so I left it. Uh, then to copy and paste, someone asked how to copy and paste. Basically, you just click the, the swap slash edit or the, the copy one. Then you have to hit Y on the one that you have to copy. I struggle with this a lot in the beginning. I kept pressing A and it would just kick me out. You press Y on the one that you want to copy and then you just click A on the one that you want to paste it to, if that makes any sense. I kind of slowed it down there on that little clip so you can see how it's done. I tried explaining it and writing in the comment, but I felt like it didn't make any sense. So here it is, a little bit of an explanation. Hopefully having it slowed down it helps a little bit but anyways i also received another comment that it's kind of hard for me or for you guys to see what colors i'm going through that i go to my colors through my colors a little bit too quickly and yes i do that's because i'm trying to save time and you know this is all like fast forward like if you were watching a sim speed build something like that it is essentially this is what it is it's, it's a speed build or a speed through of me creating this design or the designs but I don't know what you guys would like me to do during this. Um, should I slow down when I'm picking colors? That would just make the videos a lot longer. Or would you guys want me to do like individual individual videos like I did with the first ever one that I posted at the tutorial dress in just like literally a walkthrough? That video alone would be like 10 minutes, but that would just be like one dress at a time. I feel like it's better to do what you guys like, which is longer videos but include a lot more dresses and as far as the colors uh, i don't know what to do in that like for example here i guess it is too, i don't know maybe i can have a picture screenshot i have no idea uh let me know then in the comments what would be helpful for that um because i do want to obviously make it as helpful as possible for you guys so leave your suggestions down below how i can do that so that i'm not going through fast or again i don't know I don't know what would be the best solution there. 
But anyways, we're moving on to the Elsa coronation dress. For this one, not gonna lie, it was a little bit, not hard, but just weird. Because it's all the same color. You guys always hear me say that when it's all the same color, it gets a little bit difficult. Because it's harder to bring out what you're trying to bring out, what you're trying to emulate. But anyway, she has the same design. Well, not the same design, but they all have the little designs in the in the corset. So here I am doing it. I do delete it because I don't like it. And I redo it again, which I think looks better. And that's pretty much it. I think I'm pretty close to the colors. Um, so I feel like that helps a lot, obviously. <laughs> uh, it helps a lot when you're close to the colors. So here I am deleting it just because I thought it was way too big and I did not like it. So I do it a little bit smaller and I feel like it looks a lot better. And as for the design, again, I'm just kind of winging it as similar as possible, trying to get as similar as possible. And for her undershirt, obviously it's black, so I went ahead and colored that black. And she does have little designs, like little lines on the collar, but there was no space for it. I did try putting them on, but it just made the design look messy and it did not look good. So I went ahead and just decided to just leave them off. You could still tell what I was going for without those little lines on the collar. As far as the designs on the bottom of the dress, I feel like they are a little bit bigger, but again, the dress is a lot shorter. In this case, it's not even a dress, it's the little coat, but you can use it as a dress. Um, they're a little bit bigger, it's a lot shorter, and you know, it just, it, it, it's, close as, it, it's as close as possible as I can get. Obviously, everything looks gigantic when you do it on here. My favorite thing to do now is just to copy the design onto the back. That way, I don't have to hand draw everything again. And it's easier to just, for example, here, I'm drawing in the cave, so it's easier to just fill it in because I'm going to be deleting it anyway. It's easier to delete it than to hand draw it. So here I am just drawing in the cape and then for the design, again, I'm just winging it, uh, getting as close as possible. She has kind of like a like a diamond, like a flower shape type of thing going on with some like branches. At least that's what it looked like to me. So that's kind of what I'm trying to emulate here. And then I started with this darker design and then I went ahead and made it lighter and like a pink color. Because again, it just looks different in every picture. So I went ahead and just went with what looked right to me, which was this one. I do make it a little bit darker just because you can you can barely see it here. And then for the sleeves, just make them black. And that is pretty much it for Elsa. Again, you can go ahead and take a screenshot if you want to. Or I'm going to be including the codes. Obviously, this is what it looks like. That's a wig, by the way. <laughs> that my character is wearing. Here is the code if you just want to go ahead and download it. But now we're moving on to, to the third dress and we are back to Anna. For Anna, we went ahead and do the one that she uses when she, this is Frozen 2 by the way, when she goes uh, out, you know, in her exploration dress, I guess you can call it that. So honestly, all of Anna's dresses I love, they are so pretty and they're not repetitive. Like Elsa's, I feel like they're all blue, <laughs> which I mean, that makes sense. She's the ice queen, so blue or white. The last one that she wears is white with some blue still but Anna just all of the colors put together it's so pretty it's so gorgeous and this one just because it's black like it's dark colors like you barely even I like ever see that on a Disney princess and I mean unless it's like Merida because she wore a dark bluish greenish dress but anyway like you barely ever see that on princesses and I really love I love dark colors so I really love this dress <laughs> and I love the cape and I love I just love it it's, it's so pretty I can't like everything about it it's gorgeous so here I am with the design I do try to find a good match for the neck because it's like a yellowish like copperish color I do change it a lot of times I just do not put that on here because it's it takes me a long time just to find the right color and I do change the color of the design in the front as well because it's too yellowish to match the color later on. But anyway, I added the, uh, the pink on the bottom because that does come out from the bottom of, or like through the inside of the cape. It peeks out through the front. This is the belt and then obviously she has a slit on her leg that shows a little bit of leg, you know, like her, her leggings underneath. So I went ahead and added the little slit and then I just made the color of the, the actual hollow space this darker brown. I feel like it works out pretty well and then um, for the belt I do go ahead and change the color since it was getting too close to the actual color of the slit or like the stitching so I do go back and I change the color of the belt to a darker brown 
and then obviously I go in and just outline it with even darker brown because we want to go and I, don't know, I just like the shading I feel like adding shading to it just makes it look a little bit more three-dimensional um, so yeah <laughs> so here I am just adding the shading now and as far as the sleeves I do go no I don't for this one I don't copy the design to the back because it's a cape so again the cape this cape specifically covers the whole back it's like a coat with holes I don't, I don't even know how to describe it it's a coat not a coat it's a it's a cape with holes for arms that's what it is so she does have some kind of design on the back of her cape so I went ahead and add something similar as well for the sleeves I made them purple but then I go back and change them because I noticed that this design um, she has it going on at the bottom of the cape so I went ahead and added that I noticed that good thing I noticed that in time but then for the sleeves obviously she has her shirt peeking in or peeking out through the armholes so I go ahead and make those black and then she does have a design or not a design but like some kind of stitching going down the middle of her sleeve so I do go ahead and add that as well with that like coppery gold as well and then on the sleeve like the actual sleeve like the cuff she has some kind of design going on but I didn't like it like the way that I would have done it because there's no space for it so I just ended up just outlining it and leaving it you can see me trying to make some kind of design here but it just it was looking more like cheetah print to me and I did not like it so I ended up just outlining it and leaving it hollow in the middle and I feel like that looks a lot better it still represents what I was trying to go for pretty well and I do outline it with the brown and then just go with the little pom-poms that she has on the middle again uh, with the darker brown copy and paste to the other sleeve and then uh, the cape does cover like her shoulders so I went ahead and just made the cape cover her shoulders as well by extending it to her arms like so and that's pretty much it for this Anna and then here is the design you can copy or take a screenshot this is what it looks like when you're wearing it and here is the code if you need it and also all the codes will be on the description like I have said but now this is the final dress and this is for Elsa as well I decided to make her exploration dress as well um, so she wore actually it's like it's more of, of an exploration coat because she has like a little dress on the bottom with leggings on as well so this is essentially a coat however how funny that this is the actual coat and I don't make it a coat in the game because again I don't like the little color the little collar that the coat in the game has so Elsa shows skin all the time so it just looks weird having that collar pop up and skin color so I went with the dress as again as I did in the first one and again I'm just gonna make it skin color I added the belt and then she has like sparkles going up her chest that kind of like defines I mean there's no definition on where the shirt ends and because the like the frost goes up her neck her actual skin still so I went ahead and extended those little shiny parts up to the neck and then she has a snowflake on the belt so here I am just trying my best <laughs> to make a snowflake design here on the belt so I come up with this and I think it looks pretty pretty good pretty okay and for the coat again she has a little slit going down but except she has hers in the middle so I went ahead and add that and then just you know she has the lighter the lighter leggings so I went with the lighter color again because her dress does show through that she's wearing on the bottom and she has this little kind of like arrowy snowflake design at the bottom so I tried to emulate that here as best as I can with the little bit of space that I have to work with and of course it's Elsa so she has some kind of ombre going on on her dress so here I am just adding the blue so that I can go ahead and make an ombre out of it obviously I have to make it a more sensible color to match the actual dress so I think this one does a pretty good job of doing that copy and paste to the back and uh, for the back basically I go through all this trouble for the sleeves I just leave them blue I do add a little bit of dots just to I, again as if it was sparkles because she does have some kind of pattern going down on her elbows but for the back I copied and pasted and then I realized I forgot the cape she has a weirder cape this time it's kind of like split into two so I went ahead and add that but before I did do that I noticed I think at least she has this big snowflake design on the back so I went ahead and added a snowflake on the back as well and then uh, I put the cape here I am just drawing it in I find that it's easier to draw the design and then just cover it up with the cape instead of drawing the cape and then figuring out how the design would look under it 
I don't know if that makes any sense, but the cape obviously in this case is a darker blue, so that's pretty much it for Elsa. Here is the screenshot, and here is what it looks like when you wear it. And then finally, here is the code. And again, all the codes will be in the description down below as well. And then here is the little bonus. I am making Kristoff. And I actually really liked how it came out. He came out pretty, pretty well. And honestly, if it wasn't for that suggestion, I probably wouldn't have made him. Just because, I don't know, I, I focus on the dresses and I forget about the guys. So, I am making Kristoff. And for Kristoff, I used the coat as well. And Kristoff is all dark colors again but it's perfectly fine because it's a guy you never see an actual princess with dark colors for, except for Anna and Merida like I said but for Kristoff the actual coat itself like the torso and the back I make this like very very dark gray almost black and then for the neck you can go ahead and add the red design the voice was going away I had to stop there for a minute just to clear up my throat a little bit I've been talking for a long time <laughs> anyway um, you add the red design on the neck and I just extend it up to the shoulders and with the lighter gray I'm like simulating the little fluff that he has like the fur going on so I add that to the middle of the slit and then I just add designing the little belt that he has on right here and I go ahead and outline it with the darker color like I always do and then and as far as the belt itself, he has some kind of pattern going on in the middle, obviously. So I try my best to emulate that. Obviously, again, there's no space to actually design the whole thing. So I go ahead and add this light color, which I'm going to change. It's just I grab whatever color I think looks best. It doesn't always look best. So I go and I just make this like a more like dirty red, like muddy red, grayish color. And I'm just zigzagging. And that's pretty much what ends up working. For me here i'm just gonna go ahead and zigzag and i do the same thing on the one hanging but obviously this one's a little bit thicker so the design looks a little bit different but i think it works out pretty well and obviously i'm gonna copy and paste to the back and once i do that i'm just gonna go ahead and delete what shouldn't be there on the back so i'm gonna delete the back this the hanging part of the belt and the actual neck on the back because there's no neck it just continues with the red on the shoulders and then with the light gray again i like i said i'm gonna be drawing in the fluff that he has the fur and he has a slit on his jacket as well so for the middle of the slit where the hole should be uh, i'm just gonna go with the darker i think it's just like black at that point like the second second almost black so not all the way to the left where it's black just like one left as you can see there's one space in between as to where I go on that black. So after that, I just continue with the sleeves. And for the sleeves, obviously it's a jacket. So I have to draw in the jacket like where the sleeves end because he has a long sleeve underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that in like I did and then just outline it with the fluff again, the fur. And then at the bottom, since he wears gloves, I just went ahead and added this, the same dark color of the jacket on the bottom as the cuff and then the actual sleeve is like a bluish greenish grayish color it's hard to describe but here is Kristoff and then really quickly I did design a hat but there's nothing special to it just make it that same gray for the shirt I'm gonna add this white which I'm gonna later make into a, a lighter gray or a darker gray I'm just adding black because I'm just trying to design this as quickly as possible since there's not really much detail to it there i am i'm just gonna make the white a lighter darker darker version of the gray and that's pretty much it for Kristoff. <laughs> and here is the code i hope you guys enjoyed please let me know which one was your favorite and if you have any more suggestions down below please leave them in the comments and i am working through the list like i said i have a list of all the suggestions that you guys have had so if you have suggested something and you can totally bet that i'm gonna get to it eventually thank you so much for all your suggestions and for liking this video and i will see you guys on the next one bye